What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And today is a topic a lot of people been wanting me to touch on. I kind of postponed it for a little minute because I had a little more research to do on this one. Uh, this case is kind of recent. I believe it happened sometime last year. I had to make sure I spoke with the right people on this one. I got lucky, though, because I was able to get my hands on the police scanners, listen to a few police reports, seen the Chicago Sun-Times, the Chicago Tribune, the CBS Local, and a lot of people who close to this guy has spoke on his death uh, in interviews on YouTube and in songs and shit like this. A lot of people been... um. Always had the community of O Block on their mind, you know. That neighborhood kind of went viral all around the world for some strange reason. It seemed like all the rap niggas who blowing up come from that area. Either got a beef or in a war with that area, you know what I'm saying? So it's always in the limelight. Uh, it's been a lot of murders. A lot of people who end up losing their life due to gun violence from that community, that Parkway Gardens community. So today we're going to take a person to the board by the name of O Block Jado. A lot of people are always asking me about this guy because I'm not going to lie. I have heard his name in a lot of songs. It seemed like a lot of the ops like disrespecting Jado for some strange reason. But the more I looked into it, I realized Jado was really young. Now that don't mean nothing, you feel me? Because in Chicago, these young niggas like grown niggas, you feel me? Soon you get to an age where it look like you can test something up, a motherfucker will smoke you out here, man. Ain't no love. It's like a game of 32, Ed Man for itself. These people are crazy out here. It ain't just out here, it's everywhere, but we're going to take this this guy by the name of Old Block Jado to the board. I'm going to give you some background on him. I'm going to kind of explain to you exactly what happened to him. I'm going to give you some conclusions, especially my conclusions, because I don't want you guys to get this confused, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about Jado. Now, I know you guys might not understand that you know, in this drill culture, shit happened to you, you know? And I guess we all see this on the internet, but we're going to take Jado to the board today. I'm going to kind of explain to you guys exactly what happened to this dude. First thing I noticed is he was from O Block, okay? Now, I noticed, when I noticed that, I instantly said he must be a black disciple, okay? Now, I'm not saying it ain't other gangs, because remember, this gang shit is like, it's different now. It's more of, if you down with them niggas, you down with them niggas. <laughs> you feel me? It ain't got to be just a whole bunch of people screaming the same gang. It's more crew oriented, uh, like a brotherhood. But he from the O, so his ass a BD, especially for the people I talk to. I noticed another thing is people told me who I talked to that his brother is another guy by the name of DQ from O Block. Now, I can't verify that. Even though I'm pretty sure that's verified already. We already know that that's his brother and shit like that. But, you know, I like to hear it from people very, 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 very close. And I didn't hear this from the close enough source. But I heard it from a lot of people. So I feel like this is his brother. But remember, if I can't verify it, I can't verify. But, um... So I noticed he was linked to a motherfucker who was real hot. You feel me? We all know DQ is real close friends with like King Von and shit like that. So, and he's from the O. He's a black disciple, which means if he's from the O, he's linked with all those members. Okay. So another thing I noticed is all those O black members are like targets. Okay. They got a reputation of being shooters, gunners, and shit like that. Now, I'm not saying that they ain't nice people. They don't go to church. They ain't in a choir. They don't sing in a band. They probably do do that and just don't upload it on the internet. Now, some people tell me that they is what they is. They best be out there terrorizing people. They ass out there doing the wrong shit. But you ain't hear that from me. But I'm going to tell you, though, you feel me? I noticed these things instantly. I noticed that his name was brought up in a lot of rap songs. He was being dissed. I noticed that. Dissed by a lot of the ops. Okay, that's another thing I instantly noticed about this guy. Um, it's a lot of bad blood. And he had a reputation. Even though he was young, that man had a rap. Okay? That's one thing I'm going to tell you. He had a reputation. Now, what the police is saying is kind of confusing, okay? What the police is saying that happened to this dude is some shit that kind of confused me. Now, remember, J-Do was only 19 years old, okay? 
The guy was only 19. We got to get some more markers, y'all. He was only 19 when he ended up getting his life took, which is sad because you notice a lot of these people in the drill coach, he end up losing their life very young, you know. Um, when you don't have a lot of fathers around, when it ain't a lot of male figures around, everybody always getting locked up, ain't a lot of successful men around, you know what happens. What tend to happen is... The rap, the rap music, the niggas in the community get to raising the kids, you know. So a lot of people ain't had no daddies, ain't had no brothers, and the only way they learned how to holler at a female is through a rap song, you know. The only way they learned how to do some shit was through a rap song, so. This shit is really real. You could become a product of your community, too. Not to just give it all so bad. But what the police is saying is that, and this one here is kind of crazy because this guy wasn't like at a party. He wasn't at a nightclub. You know, he wasn't at the movies. He wasn't at the gas station. He wasn't at the store. He was walking. This guy was walking. The police is claiming that he was walking. He was walking. And I believe on the 3800 block of South Cottage Grove. Okay. Work with me. My marker going now, but work with me. On the 3800 block of South Cottage Grove. I believe that's the Oakland community. I believe that's the Oakland community in Chicago, okay? They said that a BMW was riding past. A nigga belt out the BMW, seat him, jumped out, grabbed the blink, blah, 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 Get the blink in the shit. And motherfucking middle of the day, police said it was 5.30 when this happened. Nigga bell out the car, get the blinking like Arnold Schwarzenegger and shit, man. The man was hit in the head, hand, and leg. It's rumors he was hit in the chest and all kind of shit like that, but I didn't see it in a police report or hear it in a police scanner. Um, it's a sad situation, but Jado was killed. Shado was killed, ended up losing his life due to gun violence and um, that kind of shit like that. Sad situation. A lot of people ask me what happened. And to be honest with you, uh, me personally, I know it's hard to see because the marker going out. I think Jado was caught lacking. Okay? I think he was caught lacking. He was spotted. And me personally, I believe somebody got the drop on him. I believe somebody end up getting the drop, okay? And I'm going to tell you why I think somebody end up getting the drop, okay? In my opinion, somebody end up getting a drop on this guy because when I looked in the police report, it said that he lives in the Oakland community. Did you hear this? When I got the reports, it said that he lived in the Oakland community. Now, I understand he being an O. He from the old block. He from that. They represent the O in their blood to their dad. That don't mean everybody just still live in old block. That old block shit been popular for a while now. That don't mean everybody still got an apartment in there. You know, when I looked into that shit, it said he lived in the Oakland community, and he ended up down in the Oakland community. I'm not sure if he had beef with people out there. That's not that close to old block. I believe someone got the drop on this guy and was riding around looking for him. And unfortunately, it's like they hit the lottery and found him. Sad situation. I think it all boils down to, we already know what I'm going to say. I think it all boils down to gang related, you know. You got to stay the fuck out those streets, man. This shit get dangerous. You can't end up losing your life for a street that locked your homie up for 10 years. That street locked your cousin up for 20 years. Three of your homeboys got killed on that street. Two of your homeboys in a wheelchair because of that street. Eight of y'all done been shot on that street. Five of y'all caught 10-year cases on that street. Six of y'all fighting a case on that street. Eight of y'all didn't get beat murdered. I mean, fighting murder cases on that street. Why in the fuck is you rapping these neighborhoods? I wouldn't have a motherfucking tattoo of that neighborhood on my motherfucking arm. I'd be ripping that shit off. Real shit, what the fuck, I want this shit on my hood. That shit done brought me all kind of tragedies. We can't be confused and let these traumas get to tricking us, man. In my opinion. But I appreciate the love. 
I appreciate the subscribes and everything. We almost at 30,000. It's taking a long time, but it's coming. But y'all be acting like y'all rock with me and act like y'all support me. And y'all making me wait these couple of days for these 30K subscribers. But it's okay, though. We gonna wait. You feel me? I appreciate the love, though. Um, Remember, keep your donations to yourself. I don't want anything from you. The weather changing. That shit going from the winter to the summer to the summer to the winter. So you got to go get hoodies. Then you got to go get shorts. Then you got to go get long sleeves shirts. Then you got to go get tank tops. You ain't got no time to be sending me no money. It's hard out here. Shit can change, man. I want you to keep everything you got to yourself. If you want to support me, I'm going to tell you what you can do. You pull your finger up like this. You see what I'm saying? You pull your finger up just like this. You look at your phone. It got a like button right there. You take this finger. You hit that like button like this. Bing. When you hit that like button, you want to know what to do? Let me tell you what to do. It make my videos grow. And a lot of people around the world be able to see them. And we can grow together. You feel me? I appreciate the love. It's the homie truth. Bleh, 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 bleh.